Okay, we've worked with a single proportion and a single mean. We're now going to look at distribution for differences in proportions. So from the 2010 U.S. Census, we learned that 13.9% of the residents of Arizona were born outside the U.S., while 3.4% of the residents of Alabama were born outside the U.S. If we take random samples of 200 residents from each state and calculate the difference in the proportion of foreign-born residents, and we're going to do it Arizona minus Alabama, describe the shape, mean, and standard error. So the shape is going to be bell-shaped. The mean is going to be the difference, which is 0 0.139 minus 0 0.034. Which is 0 0.105. And the standard error. Now, the standard error is the square root of p hat sub 1 times 1 minus p hat sub 1 over n sub 1 plus p hat sub 2 times 1 minus p hat sub 2 over n sub 2. <coughs> so p hat sub 1 is 0 0.139. Then 1 minus 0 0.139. And sample size is 200 because it says 200 from each state. So the sample size is going to be 200 for each of them. Then we have 0 0.034 times 1 minus 0 0.034, again over 200. So, 0.139 times 1 minus 0.139 gives us 0 0.119679 over 200. Then we have 0 0.034 times 1 minus 0 0.034 gives us 0 0.032844 over 200. So we have the square root of 5.983. 9, 5, e negative 4, plus 1.6422, e negative 4. <coughs> to put those into your calculator, you would do 5.98. 395, then second comma, e negative 4, plus point, no, 1.6422, second comma, negative 4. So we have 7.62615, e negative 4. And then taking the square root of that number, we have 0 0.0276. If we check the conditions, all we have to do 
is look at the smaller percentage times the 200 and make sure it's greater than 10. So 0 0.034 times 200 gives us 6.8. It's not greater than 10, but we're going to use it anyway. Now, let's look at this problem. We want to s we have 500 people participating in a blind Coke Pepsi test. 285 prefer Coke, the other 215 prefer Pepsi. We want to conduct inference, either cre creating confidence interval or conducting a hypothesis test using this data. So should we use the formulas for a single proportion or a difference in proportions? In this case, looking at it, it's going to be a single proportion because there's only one sample. And that's the 500 people who participated. The fact that part preferred Coke and part preferred Pepsi is just giving the two choices that we had. So we want to test whether the preferences are equally split between Coke and Pepsi. What would the null hypothesis be? Well, if it's equally split, then the null hypothesis would be that P equals 0.5. The alternative would be that it doesn't equal 0.5. So in terms of the outcome, does it matter whether we define P to be the proportion of people who prefer Coke or the proportion who prefer Pepsi? That's no, because P value will be the same. regardless.